We begin here at 5 o'clock with those five bold and brazen robberies that investigators believe were all committed by the same person. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. Detectives now releasing surveillance video from those robberies. In each one, the suspect used a weapon before making off with cash from the business. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez is joining us live from the west side with the terrifying video that investigators want you to see. Jonathan? Guys, and all these robberies happened within just a matter of weeks here on the west side of town. In fact, this business was hit once, and they tell us a guy came back and tried to hit him again but couldn't get in because the door was actually locked. So he went right over two shops down, robbed that nail salon there. A half a dozen businesses hit, and that guy is still out there. Five separate armed robberies and one thing in common. They're all believed to be committed by the very same suspect. He was just hiding his face. When he came here, he pulled down the mask. He opened the door and he just came running in with a gun. The cell phone store worker, still too worried to show his face, says his business was targeted by the suspect at the end of December. He says a man came in and demanded cash from another worker, even pointing a gun in her face. She was just like, don't do anything to me. And she, she just raised her hand. He said that, give me the money or I'll shoot you. But the suspect's crime spree didn't end there. Investigators say he also hit another cell phone shop on the very same day. And within just a matter of weeks, he also robbed a mattress store not far away and just as violently. He just looks around if there is a security guard or anything. If the security guard is not there, then he's probably going to try again. Most recently, detectives say the guy has set his sights on two nail salons, also robbing them at gunpoint and demanding cash from the register. While no one has been shot during these violent robberies, some believe it could be only a matter of time so long as a suspect is still on the run. He would. He would definitely. If he don't get the money, he's definitely going to shoot someone. That's for sure. And if perhaps you think you recognize this guy, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers. We are reporting live today from the city's west side. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.